guys, how's it going? I am Chad with CD Shaven, and today we are going to do a review on a sample that I've acquired. Through the Fire, Fine Craft, The Beast. Um, it's a little bit over there. You can see I already took a sample out of it, but that's what it looks like. Um, it's really, really soft. It's classified, I'm just going to adjust the camera a little bit here. It's classified as a soap on the website, um, so we'll call it a soap, but it's really, really soft. It's, this is like a cream. Um, if I didn't know any better, I'd say it was a cream, but we're going to go with the soap since that's what they classify it as, their product, so that's what I'm going to go with. All right. Um, again, through the fire, fine, uh, fine craft. Uh, shaving soap. It uh, comes in a four ounce container off the uh, website. It does contain tallow for those of you that uh, are interested in that. Um, it's based on the Cologne La Nuit de Long, if I say that right. My, my foreign language ability really, really sucks. So uh, again, it's available on uh, ttffcraft.com for $14.99 for a four ounce tub. Uh, four ounce container, tub, or whatever you want to call it, is about this big. Um, and uh, let's see, they, these guys, this is the first soap I've ever used from them, so I'm actually pretty excited to give it a shot. Plus, I'm kind of a cologne scent type of person, so I'm really interested to see how this, uh, what I think of this. And, um, but a little bit about these guys, they were established in, actually I don't know what year they came out, I tried to look that up and I couldn't find that. Um, however, they're out of uh, Lansing, Michigan, they're owned by J.D. and Maria Armin, and they want to make, they make a whole bunch of handmade products, not just this, there are other things too that they've got on their website, I looked through it, I'm pretty interested and I'm actually going to be going back and taking a look at uh, other things that they have as soon as I'm done with this. So, check them out. Take a look, see what they have, and uh, I'm telling you, if this this shave goes well, like I'm really excited about it. Uh, I'm gonna be taking a look at a lot of their products. So anyway, a um, little bit about the product as far as what's in it. It's uh, stearic acid, water, coconut oil, mango butter, tallow, potassium hydroxide, cherry kearney oil, fragrance, something called Tusa Silk. That's a new one for me, and glycerin uh, for a practical scent. Honestly, I think of um, like an like an aged leather coat when I smell this. It smells good. I like that smell. So, uh, aged leather coat. That's what comes to mind when I smell this. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead. And, uh, we've got our. We're gonna do a head shave. I think I mentioned that. So today we're doing a head shave. We're gonna use the uh, whip dog handle go game changer knot going on in the brush here. We're gonna be using the uh, Mule R41 for the head shave with the fresh feather blade, and we've got our soap and or cream uh, in the bowl, ready to rock and roll here. So let's go ahead and lather this up. So happy strawberries and cream day today. After noticing that, it kind of gets me in the mood for uh, strawberry shortcake. I love that stuff. I don't know why, just like during the summer when that comes around, I just I love that stuff. Oops. Throwing, throwing cream everywhere here. Well, this stuff definitely does not require a lot of water. It may have put a little bit too much water in it, so I may just have to add a little more cream to it. But we'll see. We'll see if we can work it out here. kind of what it looks like. It's a little sudsy. You see the, so we'll see if we can work that out here. Whenever I, uh, if I notice that, if I notice the soap is a little bit too sudsy, you can add more product to it, to it, but I also tend to just mash it down. Oops. And it's actually working it out pretty well. Covering quite well with this. You see a lot less suds than that now. Just needs to be worked. Oops. 
Oh yeah. All right. Whoa. Oh, yeah. See now, look at that now. That's perfect. That is perfect. A couple of suds uh, in there, but we'll work that out when we put it on our on our head. Yeah, that smells good. I like that. Um, yeah, that that that's uh, that scent is really it's pretty strong actually. I like it. Um, I'd say on a scent scale, if I were to give it a, a rating, I'd say it's probably a on strength. We're probably looking at eight. So, all right, let's get this going here. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, this is nice. Their uh their cream or soap I know I keep wanting to call it a cream, and that's not what it is, but, or at least according to them, um, but it's nice. This lathers right up, like nothing, and I, I think the only reason I had a tad trouble of it with it uh, in the beginning was because I think I, I, I don't think I wrung the brush out enough, um, so I, I don't think that that's the soap's fault at all. That was me, but I, I didn't really have any trouble. I just just took me longer to, you know, get it going. Wow, that's nice. All right, here we go with the grain. Always with the grain. Open comb razors. Be very very careful with these. And here we go. Remember to keep that wrist locked. Not painting a house, we're shaving our heads or faces. Same principle applies to your face. Wrist locked. Remember to hold that re the uh, razor in the position of where the, the fulcrum is, where that uh, balance point is. You know, kind of like a seesaw where you get it balanced. You want to make sure you get that razor, which for this one is right about here. Um, it helps maintain better control over it. You know, as much as you you don't want any pressure either while you're shaving, you don't want to be having that, you know, you don't want to be having like a loosey-goosey grip on it because that's just going to make the razor change angle as it moves around on your head and it's not going to cut efficiently. And you run the risk of cutting yourself. Also, to all the newbies, you may want to learn to shave with both hands. I haven't, I'm starting to do that. I'm not starting to, I've been doing it for a while, but um, I've found that it definitely comes in handy, especially with head shaving. It keeps you from, uh, keeps your hands from getting tired, you know. <laughs> On either side but I mean it also allows just for a better angle when you go to do the, the other side of your head for your head shavers for face shavers it's the same thing only applies to the other side of your face this 
So, like I said, this is the first shaving soap I've used by these guys. Um, I've been eyeing their stuff for a while. And, uh... This was actually given to me by a, a friend of mine, Jason Rudman, who also has a YouTube channel on here, Rudd's Shaves. I definitely would check him out if I were you, especially the newbies, because he reviews a lot of stuff, um, stuff that you may not, that's nice and local, but you may not necessarily um, see a lot of reviews on, which I think is kind of cool. So, um, ooh, I missed a spot. And when I say local, I actually I mean more domestic, not local. So, yep. Wow, yeah, that's nice. Uh, still residual slickness. Um, shaves nice though. I don't have any irritation at all. No weird stinging or anything like that for me. Um, I'm going to give this another, another lather here and we'll see how it does. Oh yeah, it maintains its, uh, the moisture. And so I've had, sometimes the, it, while sitting in the shaving brush, especially where I'm kind of a slow shaver, it, uh, it can dry out a little bit. Not noticeably, you don't look at it and have it all dry, but you, when you go to put it on, you're like, okay, I need more water in here, which I, you know, isn't. Again, is not a fault of the of the artist, and it's just it's just me being a slowpoke. So, but I like doing my shaves slowly and taking my time. Yeah, that's nice. That's real nice. That that coat that provides a really really good amount of slickness the slickness is there the ease of loading i'll say was there because it was a cream i had to put it onto the brush from here uh, lathering right on there cushion density i mean you guys could see that and that's with way too much water it still performed nicely so yeah all right we'll do uh we'll go ahead and do a cross grain We'll do uh, on, on camera. We'll go from ears to, uh, I mean, from eyes to ears. You know, I don't usually do this on camera, but just so you guys can kind of see. Now, as, as far as, I don't do it quite this way because my hair doesn't grow that way. So this is more cross grain for me. So it's almost like an up motion. See that? See how I'm doing that there? So it's not, it's not quite sideways but and then as I get to the top of my head I straighten it out a little bit Now, some people I've seen, um, I fortunately, my mirrors fold out, so I'm able to, to do that if I need to, but some people don't have that. So if you really want to see, like, if you can't do a blind like I'm doing right now, and you need to be able to see the back of your head, um, it's probably safer that way. Uh, you can get, I've seen people on on YouTube use a, um, a, a, uh, well, a shaving mirror. And they'll stand there and they'll hold it like this and look in the mirror behind them and do it that way. So, all right.
move that ear out of the way. I don't want to uh, Van Gogh it and take my friggin' ear off. I think that's who did that, isn't it? Is it Van Gogh that went and took his ear off and mailed it to his his girl? I don't know why he couldn't have done chocolates and flowers. That would have been just me. Can't imagine sending somebody I was dating a piece of my body. It's one thing to send a picture. All right. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Still plenty of residual slickness. Which again isn't a huge deal for me. I know a lot of other people like that. It doesn't dry out. Uh, that, although I have found that if you for the soaps that don't have the residual slickness, sometimes the post shave suffers as a result. But um, you can always throw a balm on for that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do the other cross grain. That'll be from ear to eye direction. Uh, again, kind of like an upward angle, and then we're gonna uh, we'll be back with the results and let you guys know how that's going. Thank you very much for joining me. And we are back. I uh, just did a that second cross grain. I went ahead and did it. it was, the shave was going so well. I did it against the grain in a cleanup pass. And I'll tell you, man, that's that is just smooth, nice and smooth. It's perfect. So I just figured I'd bring you guys back in while I'm doing the cleanup here and the post shave. So speaking of post shave, uh, I don't get a sense of any drying at all. Um, it, it feels really, really nice. I mean, I'll know better as you know as the day goes on. Um, but uh, as of right now, this feels really good. Uh, the scent is still there. It's not overly strong. It, it was really strong in the beginning, and it kind of faded just a tad. But that's okay. It wasn't, you know, it didn't, it didn't make it a non. You know, I definitely would use it again. The cream. That's what I was trying to get at. Uh, but the the scent is great. I mean, it really, really is. It, it's definitely a nice. Uh, I have not smelled that actual cologne that it's based off of, but it, you know, this is a nice cologne scent, and I like those a lot. So, <clears throat> I'm a very big fan of cologne scents anyway, uh, and I think that this is just awesome. It really is a great soap. As far as performance goes, it's plenty slick. I mean, plenty slick, and and it, it's uh, wasn't the slickest soap I've ever used, but. I mean, it's right up there you know, with the top. I mean, you, you can't go wrong with this. It was uh, easy to make a lather out of. It was uh, the cushion and density. I mean, you could see it. It was there. I held the brush upside down and nothing moved. It stayed right there. But it wasn't dry either. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, so we're liking that. And uh, I would definitely recommend this soap, actually, to anybody, to be honest with you. Um... I'm, I'm, I have a sample of it now, and that'll last me a little while, but I think I'm going to be picking up the uh, the the actual tub of this uh, as soon as I can. Um, I was, yeah, it's even, the smell, it's just barely on the brush, um, but that's because I cleaned it. I clean my brushes pretty well when I'm done with them, so. Um, so that, yeah, that that's awesome. And again, I use the Mule R41 with the fresh feather blade in it. Uh, you can't go wrong with that at all, so. Uh, just throwing some cold water in my head here. Hope to close the pores a little bit. So, yeah, uh, definitely recommend it. You know, if you guys are in the market for something uh, that, you know, with a cologne smell to it and, you, you know, you're... You're looking for something that, that's going to really perform nicely, and you get it, this stuff is just great. It really is. I don't, I don't have any irritation at all on my head, so I'm really happy with this. Um, and I just put a little bit of T and Dickinson's crappy witch hazel on my face to, or my head to uh, act as astringent. And so, yeah. All right. So after that, what I'll probably do is rinse it off. I'm probably going to go with. Yeah, I kind of had like an. A leather uh, an old leathery smell to me uh, so I think I'm gonna be pairing it with um, some sandpiper today sterling sandpiper put that on afterwards but before I do that I always put on a bomb using aqua velvet so it's kind of a 
I know these don't really go together, but this stuff works really well. And, uh, and I, you know, I had a really good shave, so I'm going to put some of this on there just to hydrate the skin a little bit. But I think once I put this on, you'll be able to smell the, the, uh, the whole thing all together. And it'll really, really smell nice. So pretty excited to do that and get that finished up here. So, uh, if anybody has any comments or any questions about the soap that I reviewed today, please leave uh, questions and comments in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'd like to hear everything you guys have to say. Any uh, any suggestions on any other soaps that I should try in the Colony sense or any sense for that matter? I'm definitely willing to entertain it. I love trying. I'm kind of a soap guy. I like to try new soaps, and uh, it's just it's something I have a passion for. So, um, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Uh, staying with us and uh if you guys like the video please hit that thumbs up and like it and if you're not subscribed what are you waiting for jump on board we'd love to have you and when the videos come out you guys get a notification and uh you know i'll just do more if you guys want to see uh more topics and different things and i'll be happy to do them so uh subscribe like and folks if you guys do a shave today have a great shave enjoy the rest of your day and uh, we'll see you next video I am Chad from CD Shaven. Have a good day.